Hi friends. It's been a while since I did a, you know, face-to-face -face talk video. I've been doing voiceovers because it's just been so much easier, easier for me to do lately. Anyway, we are here. We are going to be planting up some full sun hanging baskets. So this is three of the baskets I'll be planting up. The other four does not look like this. It's a different design. So this is 16 inch heart skull. You can find this at Home Depot. It is 19 inch chain and it can hold up to 25 pounds. So I'll be using these three on my porch because my porch is not that big. So three is more than enough. It's more than sufficient for what I needed for to add some pop of color on the front porch. Anyway. I hope you guys are doing well and as you can see I cannot stop smiling I'm actually blushing because I'm finally putting my greenhouse to use and I am just so excited I'm just so happy I'm filled with joy it's been a labor of love and we're still not done we're still not done so I don't have any tables or shelving on each side of the glasses on the walls um, my husband he's very busy but I did give him the plans and my ideas for the tables that I would like for in here and the shelving so with the tables I don't know if I should share it yet or wait until they're complete it's just I just feel like they're so unique for how I want it done in here um, they're actually different I haven't seen any greenhouses with tables like those and it's just the functionality of the tables it's just the way my brain works sometimes I really have to question myself girl you sure you're not crazy like you're not insane <laughs> anyway uh, no tables but i'm currently using these folding tables that we have we use them for our cookouts in the summertime and also the elephant in the room proof of winners did send me out some plans to use in my garden this season and some to trial that i've never used before so i'm really really excited about that so shout out to proof of winners thank you for that <laughs> your girl made it uh -huh, yeah you know what i'm saying anyway so we're gonna be planting up some full sun baskets I already have my basket filled with soil and some slow release fertilizer. So you want to use some slow release fertilizer so it fertilize helps it fertilize your plants for up to six months depending on the fertilizer that you use. So if you forget to fertilize once a week with a liquid fertilizer to keep your annuals blooming, they still have a little bit of cushion there, right? All right, so I haven't seen any hanging basket with like a thriller speaking from my own experience normally when I see a hanging basket it's always filled with plants draping over which is your spiller and your fillers right um, so what I want to do I want to put a filler in here because of the length of the chain right so if I put a filler in here a, a thriller in here that's not too tall just got to get it untangled and straight look at the length of this in the base so I can put something in here that gets about this tall right and then I have all my filler and my spillers I'm not saying it's it's never been done before but personally I haven't seen it so that's what we're gonna be doing today so for my filler my thriller my thriller I'm going to be using a begonia this is I have the tag and it's falling apart by the way these are the new eco grande pots they're compostable. You can compost them. You can just pop the tabs off that are that were here and plant the whole thing in ground if you choose. Personally, I, I have some drawbacks with that. For one, it takes two years to decompose, which, yes, it's better than plastic. It's better than the original containers that they used to use. However, for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect all of this and I'm going to crush them up real small, almost like coffee grinds in a way. I'm going to try to crush them up as small as I can, then sprinkle it throughout the yard in my garden beds. Um, because these pots do have nutrients in them to feed the plants or to feed the soil. So that's how I'm going to do it. Personally, I am not going to plant this whole container in ground or in my hanging baskets. That's just my personal preference. You know, that's just my choice. So, all right, we're going to be using a begonia. This one is a double delight. It has, a, it has peachy blooms on here. Apple blossom. Forgive me, this one is not available to consumers yet. This one I'm trialing here in my zone seven just to see how it does for me here. So these are the blooms. Gorgeous. I've never, I, I never used to be a begonia fan until I planted up double up begonia and it did so well. So I'm gonna give this a try. By the way, this can take full sun to part sun. So I'm just gonna pop this in the middle. All right, and then we're gonna plant around it. It's gonna get messy. 
So this is our thriller. Now we're going to use some filler slash spiller. In the front, I'm going to use, I was debating on this one. So this is a Super Bina Pink Cashmere. It's also pink, but this is more peachy. So we shall see how it does. Let me show you the tag. I don't think this one is available as yet. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. That's what it looks like. It's a beautiful baby soft pink. I'm going to put this in the front. These containers are just falling apart. Let's put this right here. Okay, so on the sides, or I'm going to use, this is actually available. Um, I went to Lowe's to get some of these Bordeaux. I picked up six Bordeaux. I should go back for more. This is the Super Bell's Prism Pink Lemonade. Oh, gosh. Gorgeous, okay? First of all, I'm a lover of pink. As you can see, I love pink. So when I saw the pink and the yellow mixed together, beautiful, okay? Gorgeous. I'm going to use two of these. I'm going to put one on each side. Oop. The pots, they're just falling apart. I tell you, so I live in the city. For many, for those of you who are, you know, don't know, I live in a city and there's always some action going on. It's either the sirens or the helicopters. And I guess they are currently looking for somebody. It's the police. So in the back, I'm not sure which side is going to be the back or the front really. <laughs> I'm going to use this um, Super Bell's Pink. It's just a regular Super Bell's Pink. I love how bright it is. Show you guys the tag. I picked these up from Home Depot. That's the color right there. Blooms right there. Guys, I apologize about the noise. There is not a perfect time to record here in the city. Like I live in the city, city. I, I, there's always something going on. But don't get me wrong, though. I love living in the city. Honestly, I do. I because there's always something going on. I'm just being nosy right now. So. OK, so our first container is complete, friends. Uh, our first hanging basket I should say what's going on Ooh. <laughs> uh, this is heavy this is I hope it's I don't think it's 25 pounds but it's it's heavy okay Just want to give you guys a close-up look of what it looks like. So we have the, whew. I'm going to leave the tags inside so I can remember. We have the Double Delight Apple Blossom Begonia in the middle as our thriller. Then for our th um, spiller filler, we have two of the Pink Lemonade Super Bells, which is new this year. You can find it in the Garden Center. The Double Delight is not yet available. I'm just trialing it to see how it does here for me. And then we add a Verbena. We had a Verbena Pink Cashmere. Also not available yet. It's not available yet, friends. I'm so sorry. But I do feel a little special being able to try them here in Zone 7. And I can report back and let you guys know how they do for me here. And if they are worth your money for next season. All right, so we have one down and I'm going to create three more of the, no, two more of these because I'm doing three of these for my porch. And then I'm going to create four different looks for the outside of this um, greenhouse area. 
Oh, by the way, I do have a drain here in the greenhouse. So when I water, everything just run right out, which was one of the best decisions made with this greenhouse design and built. I don't have to worry about anything being damaged, worry about water um, damaging anything. I just water and be on my way. The water finds its way out, no problem at all. So I'm just soaking everything in. I'm actually going to leave these in my cold frame for a few days because there are some nighttime temperature that will be extremely low and I can't chance anything. I don't wanna chance anything. And then we're gonna jump up into the 80s in a few days. It just doesn't make sense to me, but hey, that's the weather here in Maryland. Just two weeks ago, we were in the 80s for a whole week, and then we had rain for several days, and it's been cold. I've been wearing my winter jacket for quite some time, so yeah. So I'm just gonna repeat the process two more times with the same plant combination that we just used. train in the background the helicopter only thing missing now are some sirens you know <laughs> the best time to do anything here really is early in the morning uh, but I'm busy taking my kids to school and doing all that mom stuff so two down one more to go are for my front porch once again and I only kept um, tags for one basket because they're all going in the same place so these will go in my recycle my recycle and then these I'm going to shred them up or crush them up as small as I can and then I'm going to sprinkle them out throughout my garden beds and um, vegetable raised beds and see what happens so friends, I had to stop to tend to my kids. So we got the first set, which is the three baskets for the front porch done. Now we're going to be working on this set. I have four of these I bought from Tractor Supply last summer, around midsummer, they were on sale. So as you can see, it's a different design and I had to replace the liners. Already filled it with soil. And what I'm gonna do for this one, this is what I'm thinking. I have a lot of this pink that I bought and I'm just trying to use it, use it up and sprinkle pink throughout the whole yard. You know, my daughter, she's obsessed with pink and I happen to so like pink as well. I also have some Bordeaux. I love Bordeaux. No, when I bought these, they weren't so leggy and they just <laughs> put on a lot of growth. So what I'm going to do, it might be painful for some of you guys to watch, but once I plant everything, I'm going to cut them back by a half. Some people say cut things back by a third. I'm just going to snip it off by half so it can flush back out and be much more um, fuller than being so leggy. I just love Bordeaux. I've struggled with it before, so I haven't planted Bordeaux in about three years. So I'm going to give it a try again in this hanging basket. So I have two on both sides with the pink in the middle, right? For the centerpiece i was thinking to do a diamond snow euphorbia now these do get pretty large this gets about 12 to 18 inches tall how wide 
It doesn't say how wide, but I've planted these before and they do get pretty moundy and big. So what I'm thinking is if I plant the white, the diamond snow in the middle, all these colors are going to grow within each other and just mix up and just become one big melting pot. Um, because it's so loose, things are just going to trail into each other and just tie up with each other. And I'm just picturing the purple, the pink, and the white is going to look great. But then I was like, well, what if I use this? This is uh, Artemisia. This is the Sliver Bullet. I love the foliage. I love the color. And I'm thinking, like, the purple with the silver. Gorgeous. Just beautiful. Or even the pink with the silver. I think looks good and the texture wise looks amazing. So I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to put this as my, I'm going to put this as my centerpiece in the middle. This is also going to grow out and become a little floppy and stretch its legs and everything is still going to mingle together. So the white is tempting, but I, I, I just love the way the silver looks. So I'm going to go with the silver. Uh-oh. Sorry. I'm going to use this as my centerpiece. I think that's going to look great. It's a different as well. Then I'm going to put the um, the Bordeaux on the side. So you're going to have the silver, white, grayish color in the middle. I'm going to have the purple on the sides like so like so like that like so like that as our auntie tabitha would say i love her okay okay like the bordeaux are straggly right now like plus they got they were left outside in the cold so they're not looking the best but i'm going to clean them up and I am also going to cut them back like I stated earlier because they're so leggy. But I think the purple and the silver with the hint of pink, gorgeous. I can't wait to see how they fill in this season. I'm going to make sure I have alarm in my phone to fertilize <laughs> because I always seem to forget. It's just so much going on. It's like life is just constantly moving no matter what is happening in life you have to keep going every single day sometimes I feel like you don't even get time to process certain things that you deal with certain things that you go through crazy okay and we are done where's my pruners I saw them earlier I have two pruners that I use faithfully and um Sometimes I pick them up and put them down and I don't remember where I put them because I'm also trying to hide them from my kids because they're just curious at this stage. Okay, friends, pink and purple and the silver. This is going to be glorious once it grows in. And the is complete, friends. It's complete, and I'm so excited. Can't wait to see how they look once they grow in. So that's one down. And I'm going to repeat the same process for the other three, basically. Oh my goodness, friends. I 
I just realized that I only bought six Bordeaux. I only bought six Bordeaux, so <laughs> I can only do three containers or three baskets. I have a fourth one that needs to be done, so I'm going to have to um, stop at the store tomorrow sometime uh, after dropping the kids off at school or before picking them up somewhere around that time. I, I'm just not realizing that because I just reached for them and I realized I only have two left. And I'm like, I have another basket. Where is it? I have another basket right there. Oh. And it, I ran out of plants. I don't even. <laughs> I'm, I was just planting, not thinking about the number of plants. I knew I had a flat of this and the amount of this, but it did not dawn on me that I did not have enough um, of Bordeaux. I only had six and I have four containers. So this one is not done. I still need another pink and two Bordeaux to finish off this container. It's getting pretty late right now and it's time for me to go be a mom and a wife, have dinner ready and done. And then later on tonight, once I get all the kids in bed, because Home Depot or Lowe's, they don't close until I think 10 o'clock. I'm going to put the kids in bed, run there, and just finish off this one container. So I'm just going to show you guys what they look like for right now, which is not really much, but they're still cute with all the colors. And then I'm just going to finish the rest off camera. I, I truly apologize. Oh! Yeah. So right here, this is the two Bordeaux, the two Super Bells pink, and the Artemisia in the middle. I love the colors. I just love the pinks and the purples with the silver foliage of the Artemisia. Gorgeous. So I only have three of them done. And by the way, look at all the mess. Ah, so I'm going to get these out of here, sweep, and just rinse this out. All the water will just run out right into the drain by the foot of the table. So let me show you the other ones. So I still have my cold frame, as you can see, friends. <laughs> and I'm currently using it as like storage. So here are the three hanging baskets in here. These are the ones that's gonna be on the front porch. So we have the verbena, the two super bells. Yes. Um, oh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, these kids, oh crap, what was I saying, friends? What's in the middle of this? A begonia. We have the begonia, <laughs> the apple blossom begonia, the pink, and the other colors going on. So I have all three in here. I'm also gonna hang the other four in here as well um, until those cold, cold night passes, then I'll put them out where they're supposed to go. So that's all I got done, friends. I'm so sorry I could not finish on camera, but once I finish up tonight, once I do my whole mommy thing, the whole wife thing, I'm gonna run back to the store, get what I need to finish up that last container or last hanging basket. Then I'm gonna hang everything in here. It's super warm in here. As you can see, it's bright. It's in full sun all day, really. So they should be happy. I'm just waiting for the last couple nights with low temps to pass. Then I'll put them out where they're supposed to go. Um, so these are the first containers, full sun containers or baskets for the season and more to come. I'm really excited. I'm also thinking about bringing back um, my containers that are based on um, tropical drinks, alcohol, alcoholic beverages. That was a hit two or three years ago. I'm thinking about bringing that back. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.